What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? This is Captain Charles Zenemy World. Welcome to my view of Rise of the Shield Hero, episode 14. Um, overall, this was a solid episode. It wasn't the best episode. I've seen way better, and it wasn't the worst. I've seen worse than this, um, but this was a solid episode. That cliffhanger, man, like, how can you leave us on such a cliffhanger like that where Raptalia has the, the knife pointed right at um Edo, Edo, okay? And I'm thinking to myself, what's going to happen? Is she going to stab him, you know, right in front of Philo and, 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 and Melty like, and, and um, the shield hero? Is she just going to stab him and decapitate him and be done with it? Or is she going to let him go, you know? And... I, I just don't know how this is going to go because it could really go either way, especially because Raphdaya has been having those nightmares. And I do believe um, next week we're going to look at um, the nightmare she's been having, look more into Raphdaya's backstory, her history, you know, and find out exactly all the little things that she went to before she met up with the shield hero. I do believe that that other girl that she was holding her hands to could be her sibling, um, or her friend, but it's definitely someone very important to Raphdaya. And Edo was probably the reason that she died, you know. And again, you know, it's going to be a crazy episode next week. But that cliffhanger, that that was a really rough cliffhanger, you know, because you don't know what's going to happen unless you read the manga. And of course, I'm not reading the manga. Now, another thing I want to talk about is Melty Sama. Yes, we have to talk about Melty and her evolution um, as it were, because everybody's been saying within this um, episode, you know, Melty, you're you're changing, you know, you're becoming less mature. And I believe what's going on is that she, basically, to be blunt with you guys, she wants to shield heroes D. That, that's, that's all it is. That's all it is, you know, you know, she's blushing. She wants to be close to him. And, you know, she was even jealous because, you know, it was that scene. And I really liked the scene where they were in the room. And, you know, she was like, you know, I'm going to stay up because, you know, I'm going to keep watch. And then, you know, Melty was like, you know, you need sleep. And she was like, no, the Raftalia said, you go get some rest and I'll stay up. Then he said, OK, I'll do that. Then Melty was like, wait, 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 wait hold up. Why well, is it okay if she says it, but not me? You know, like, why are you going to do it just because Raphdaya said it and not me? You know, and she's, you know, she's jealous, you know, and even Raphdaya, you know, she gets jealous of Melty Summer, you know. So, again, that's a really, really fun love triangle. You got your half, um, your, dim, your demi-human, you know, raccoon girl on this end. Then you got a princess lolly on one end, and then you're right, right in the middle, so... <laughs> Um, but let's talk about Ito, okay, Ito, okay, this, this dude right here, you know, obviously, he follows the order of the bitch, of, of, of mine, you know, you know, that only supports the arrow, the sword, and the spear hero, um, and let me tell you, it was that one scene where Melty was trying to fend him off, and Melty was like, you know, back up, back up, and we all know what, what Ito had on his mind, you know, but I'm trying to think to myself here, if he would have went through with it, don't doesn't he know that the king would kill him? Because I truly believe that the king loves Melty. Like I like you could tell from his worry while he was in the throne when we cut back to him. He truly loves Melty. It's his bitch of a, a daughter, mine, that wants Melty dead. So, I mean, once the king found out, doesn't Edo know that he would die? And I highly doubt mine, being the bitch that she is, will cover for him. She would use him as nothing more than a scapegoat. Again, um, I also like that 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 picture of the shield hero that's going around town, basically, you know, you know, from you know the kingdom saying, "If you see this man, you know, let us know." Ugly ass picture. Again, that was funny as well. Um, we got to talk about the really nice, you know, emperor, as it were, the of, of the town of demi humans. You know, where Raphdaya. Um, you know, uh, knows of. I don't think she was from there, but she knows of it. And, you know, he seemed like a really good guy. The crazy thing about it was that he was able to sneak up on the shield hero and nobody noticed. So I wonder what kind of powers does he have? But then later on in the um, episode, we saw that he was captured as well, you know, and he was getting punched in the gut, really taking damage from, from Edo of all people. So, you know, Maybe he's good at stealth capabilities, but when it comes to just overall fighting, he's he's nothing. 
again. And we also find out why mine set the entire mountain on fire. Because I thought that she was just trying to burn up one single thing. That was my question last week. But we find out that she set the whole mountain on fire just to um, flush out the shield hero and company. Now, here's where things start to get a little bit interesting. Because the kingdom has shut off all the, 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 the other areas, um, there's only one place for the shield hero and company to go, and that's to go see Melty's mom. And God, Melty's mom is fine as hell, yo. I, I I know that, you know, mine gets her looks from her mama, like, oh my gosh, she looks good. And I'm thinking to myself, mine looks good as hell. Like, she's a bitch, don't get me wrong. We all know she's a bitch, but she looks good as hell. And her mom is bad as hell. I wonder what Melty's going to look like later on as well. Like, she's, whoo, I'm... I'm, I'm telling you guys, it's, it's, it's going to be game over. And I, I do feel that these relationships that's happening right now between the Shield Hero and, and Melty and Melty and Raphdaya, they're going to bear fruit later on within the series. Because I like that scene where Raphdaya was talking about her past and what, what happened to her town, her village. And Melty says, you know, give me the, the let, um, tell me the names of the soldiers or give me the description of those soldiers and we will bring them to justice. I was like, damn, it's going to be good. Um, overall, again, great chapter. I mean, excuse me, great episode this week. Um, Philo, I, I really like Philo because the shield hero couldn't find her and you know he was worried. He doesn't like to show up, but you know he was worried. He says, Philo, get here. That's an order. And then she's like, Bzz, ow, you know. And it's because Melty told her to hide because she knew that the soldiers were coming. So, again, Melty's a good one. She's a really good one. You know, she stuck up for the shield hero and I do believe that the shield hero um, actually now trusts her. You know, you know, he had his doubts because she's from the kingdom and you know how people from the kingdom are. I mean, all all his, you know, um, confrontations with royalty has ended up bad, you know, but Melty is good. And the one thing that bothers me, and I'm going to wrap this review real quick. The one thing that bothers me, and, and I asked this question a couple of weeks ago, if the king married into the family and the king doesn't have more power than the queen, which personally I have a problem with, but that's just me personally. If the queen has more power than the king, then why is the queen on lockdown? Why can't she go anywhere? Why did she have to send her daughter, her lolly daughter, out there to find the shield hero and bring him back to her? If she supposedly has more power than the king, why is she stuck? Unless she's under some type of curse or some type of magic binding spell or something like that. That's the only other option I could come up with. But hey, that'll do it. Thank you guys so much. I don't want to make this review too long. Uh, Rise of the Shield Hero episode 14 is in the books. I cannot wait for next week. It's going to be great, hopefully. And like always, like always, like always. Well, yeah, next week is episode 15 because this is episode 14. Yeah. So like always, like always, like always, this is Captain saying to you guys. It's to all of you guys. Sign out, suckers. Mm -hmm.